good evening respect to teachers and my colleagues my today's topic of discussion is routine investigation of the pregnancy importance of the investigation during the pregnancy to prevent the miscarriage to triage the mother to high risk and low risk to prevent the pregnancy complication and abnormality to screen fetuses for chromosomal error structural defect growth abnormality and to decide the time and mode of safe delivery what is antenatal care it is a systemic supervision of the woman during the pregnancy is called as antenatal or prenatal care aims and objectives to the screen the high risk cases to prevent detect treat any complication at the earliest who recommend at least four is it first during second trimester at 16 weeks second between 24 to 28 weeks and third is at 32 weeks and fourth fourth at 36 weeks procedure of antenatal examination and at first visit careful history taking thorough clinical examination of the mother in lab in investigation there are the routine and some special investigations are done the pregnancy test to confirm the pregnancy detect the beta hcg urine pregnancy test and blood test mostly commonly done are the urine pregnancy kit test which are uh, more uh, more easy low cost easy easy to done in procedure first test done after miss period detect the beta hcg hcg detected in the urine about 10 day after the conception first morning urine sample is to be used blood test are rarely done these are the expensive they detect the beta hcg level in the blood or serum women having infertility treatment or any other complication like ectopic and molar pregnancy in this cases we do the serum beta hcg test urine pregnancy kit test it is an home use kits they are the uh, they have the chromatography paper impregnated with the hcg and anti hcg at the point mark as control and at the point uh, t test only uh, there is the only anti hcg at point test uh, see or about the beta human chorionic gonadotropin it is an glycoprotein initially it is secreted by the troposphere cell early stage and later on by the placenta it is functionally and chemically it similar to pituitary luteinizing hormone it prevent the degeneration of corpus luteum detect in the maternal serum and urine as early as 8 to 9 day after the post fertilization doubling time is 1.4 to 2 days Serum assay measures the both free beta subunit and intact hcg normally hcg is having two uh, subunit alpha and beta beta is the most specific subunit which is measured by all routine tests urine assay detection limit is 20 micro international unit per ml home use kit uh, hcg detect 50 micro international unit per ml doubling time of hcg 2 to 3 days 80% probability of intrauterine implantation higher level of hcg is detected in case of multiple pregnancy having hereditary form mole or chorionic carcinoma or in case of down syndrome lower level less than 2 days doubling time tighter or increase less than 66% seen in ectopic pregnancy and spontaneous abortion cases while urine hcg concentration is approximately half of that of serum sometime urine false positive also come because of the drug or bacterial contamination or protein or blood in in the urine sometime urine false negative test come and because of the dilution of the urine or miss abortion the normally done routine tests are complete blood count urine routine microscopy and culture ab1 rh grouping if there is a rh uh, positive uh, negative mother have then screen for the antibodies rh negative need further investigation random blood sugar glucose tolerance test second trimester done in second trimester in diabetic cases during the pregnancy thyroid pregnancy function test done in first trimester because unborn baby require mother tsh for the development other tests are hiv hepatitis b hepatitis c and vdrl uh, some cases also hplc is also advised complete blood count to uh, to check for the mostly done for the to check the level of the hemoglobin most common anemia during pregnancy is physiological anemia followed by the iron deficiency anemia in wbc count normally during the pregnancy leukocoin uh, leukocyte count is uh, slightly raised platelet count to rule out the any clotting disorder during pregnancy anemia occur anemia during pregnancy according to uh, cdc criteria is hemoglobin less than 11 g per deciliter in first and third trimester less than 10.5 g per deciliter in second trimester and according to who criteria anemia is called when hemoglobin is less than 11 g per deciliter various degree of anemia mild 8 to 10 g percent moderate 7 to 8 g percent and severe when there is a less than 7 g percent what is criteria for the uh, physiological anemia is that 
Hemoglobin level is 10 gram per cent. RBC mass is 3.2 million per cubic millimeter. Pack cell volume is 32 percent, and peripheral showed showing normal morphology of RBC with the central pallor. Various platelet disorder. Thrombocytopenia. It's called when platelet count is less than 1.5 lakh per cubic millimeter. <coughs> Thrombocytopenia during pregnancy can be due to defective production of the platelet because of sequestration or accelerated destruction. Or due to non-immunological causes or some immunological causes. Non-immunological causes like preeclampsia, HELP syndrome, abrupto placenta, or DIC. And immunological causes like thrombocytopenic purpurea, systemic lupus erythematous, antiphospholipid antibody. A gestational thrombocytopenia is your physiological. It is a, a due to hemodilution. Uh, immune thrombocytic panic purpurea in this accelerated destruction of the antibody coated platelets. Patient are asymptomatic when a uh, count is more than 50,000 per microliter. Uh, symptom appear when count is below 50,000 per microliter. HELP syndrome, it stands for hemolysis, elevated liver enzyme, mm -hmm. and low platelet count. HELP syndrome occur in about 1 to 2 out of 1,000 pregnancies, and in 10 to 20 percent pregnant tumor with severe uh, preeclampsia, eclampsia. Urine routine microscopy and culture. It advised at the routine checkup at the first antenatal vitis. It is mostly done to rule out for glucosuria and proteinuria. Glucosuria indicate diabetes mellitus and proteinuria to see for albumin present in the protein. 5% of all pregnant women cause um, having proteinuria in cases of preeclampsia, UTI or chronic renal disease. Hematuria is the presence of RBC in the urine seen in urinary tract diseases mostly due to contamination and rule out for any pus cell to rule out urinary tract infection. Most common uh, organism causing UTI is E. coli in most 90% cases. Urine culture is done to rule out asymptomatic streptococcal B infection during pregnancy with that which bacteria is causing UTI during the pregnancy. ABO and RH grouping is done. The incidence of the RH negative women having RH positive fetus is 5 to 10 percent. There are two types of antibody form against this. These are immunoglobin N and immunoglobin G. Immunoglobin M are the large and can't pass through the placental barrier, while immunoglobin G are incomplete small blocking antibodies. RH isomerization. When uh, father is RH positive and mother is RH negative, first pregnancy is the normal. It affects the second pregnancy when mother is RH negative with positive first pregnancy. Because of there is a formation and antibody which is transferred to second baby which is RH positive and that leads to uh, erythroblastis fetalis. What is isoimmunization? It is defined as a production of immune antibody in an individual in response to an antigen derived from another individual of the same species provided the first one lacks the antigen. Causes are mismatch transfusion and RH negative woman bearing RH positive fetus. Clinical manifestation of uh, Erythroblastic fetalis of hydrofetalis, ecteris gravis neonatorum, congenital anemia of the newborns. Gestational diabetes. Gestational diabetes mellitus, it is an carbohydrate intolerance developed during the pregnancy. Most common obstetric complication affecting 2 to 5 percent of the pregnancy. Women with gestational diabetic mellitus have 50 percent increased risk of developing adult onset diabetic mellitus later in the pregnancy. Gestational, in case of gestational diabetic mellitus, mother is having high blood glucose level in the mother that brings the extra glucose to the fetus and it causes put extra weight to the baby. Screening for diabetes. First, this screening for diabetes done in second trimester. First glucose challenge test is done. If there is a, any abnormal result, then glucose tolerance test is also done. In glucose challenge test, first performing by orally administration of the 50 gram of glucose and major venous plasma glucose after one hour. Time of screening is between 24 to 25, that is in the second trimester. Interpretation is less than 140 milligram further testing by glucose tolerance test not required. If uh, value is more than 140 milligram, then further testing is required. If value is more than 200 milligram, it confirm the diagnosis, give the diagnosis of diabetes mellitus. After the glucose challenge test, glucose tolerance test are done. Indication for glucose tolerance test is fasting glucosuria on one occasion before 20 weeks or two or more occasion after 20 weeks. Positive screening test for gestational diabetes. If fasting blood glucose is more than 95 milligram per 100 ml or after two hours of ingestion of 100 gram glucose 
is value is more than 120 mg per 100 ml glucose tolerance test in this circuit test patient with abnormal screening test are followed by the 3 hour glucose tolerance test test is performed with 100 g of glucose or 70 g of glucose criteria for diagnosis of gestational diabetes mellitus after glucose tolerance test carpenter and coston criteria fasting 95 mg per deciliter one hour level is 180 mg per deciliter two hour level must be 155 mg per deciliter 3 hour is 145 mg per deciliter a criteria for impaired oral glucose tolerance test according to american diabetic association fasting is when it is called as normal when fasting level is less than 110 impaired between impaired level less than 126 if more than or equal to 126 it is called as diabetes Two or post-prodinal level normal when less than 140, impaired in between 140 to less than 200, or more than equal to 200 in, in diabetes. Special tests done in prenatal screening and diagnosis. We need special tests in cases of elderly primary when age is more than 35 year, or family history of birth defects, or belongs to certain ethnic groups having diabetic before the pregnancy. or family history of hemoglobinopathy like thalassemia or sickle cell anemia in high hplc high performance liquid chromatography extension of conventional liquid chromatography used to separate different constituent of the compound using high pressure to push the solvent through the column clinical application of hplc to separation and quantitation of the various hemoglobin associated with the specific disease most common adult hemoglobin hemoglobin a and another one is hemoglobin 80 which is 2 to 3.3% also it major the glycosylated hemoglobin hemoglobin hpa1c this is the hplc chromatographic of hemoglobin showing hba1c level hb1 fetal hemoglobin hemoglobin a and hemoglobin 80 it is a normal hplc chart hemoglobin of pathis and hplc in the in beta thalassemia major major synthesis of beta chain that's why hemoglobin f level is 30 to 95 percent in sickle cell anemia two peaks occur at hemoglobin h level and another one it is hemoglobin y then cytogenetics prenatal genetic diagnosis made directly from fetal tissue by amnocentesis coronic villus sampling and cordocentesis in coronic villus sampling it might be done at transcervical or transabdominal transcervical at 10 to 12 weeks and transabdominal at 10 week to terms tissue study in coronic villus sampling stropoblast cells can direct preparation test result after 24 to 48 hour in culture need 10 to 14 days there is a chances of fetal loss is 1 to 2% accuracy is accurate need amnocentesis after for confirmation mtp at first trimester is safe amnocentesis done at 14 to 60 week early as 12 to 14 week it uh, st tissue studies of fetal fibroblast culture required 3 to 4 weeks and fetal loss chances of fetal loss is 0.1 to 1% and it is highly accurate than the cvs cordocentesis it done at 18 to 20 weeks fetal uh, it study the fetal white blood cells and culture need time 24 to uh, 48 hours the fetal loss is high in the cordocentesis that is 2 to 4% and a highly accurate test various biochemical tests there is maternal serum alpha protein it uh, do, uh, done to rule out the neural tube defect it like its level is increase in the neural tube defect t1 marker test it uh, are done in the first trimester if it uh, it measure the level of beta hcg and the uh, pregnancy associated plasma protein after if there is any abnormality in the dual marker then triple marker test is done this uh, dual marker and triple marker test done to rule out the down syndrome a uh, triple test having in this case we um, measure the maternal serum alpha fetoprotein scg and the unconjugated estriol and in quadruple test is a triple test plus inhibin a biochemical and biophysical screening test first is done is the uh, in uh, soft tissue marker is a knuckle translucency it is done in the sono in first time is a uh, knuckle translucency scan time is 11 to 14 week if knuckle thickness is more than 
three millimeter. Anomaly to detect it help to detect the any anomaly like Down syndrome and Turner syndrome. Test sensitivity is seventy to eighty percent, and false positive rate is five to six percent. And then double marker test that is beta HCG and pregnancy associated plasma protein. It done between eleven ten to fourteen weeks. That is in the first trimester. Observation is beta HCG and pregnancy associated plasma protein A level. It uh, done to rule out the anomaly like to a Down syndrome. Test sensitivity is sixty five percent, while false positive rate is five percent. And triple test is a um, in this beta HCG and pregnancy associated plasma beta HCG with uh, maternal serum alpha protein with unconjugated estradiol. If there is any derangement in the double marker, then triple test is done. It done at fifteen to eighteen week. It measure the maternal serum alpha protein along with HCG and the unconjugated estradiol. It to rule out anomaly Down syndrome. Test sensitivity is sixty percent, while false positive rate is five percent. Maternal serum alpha protein. Uh, this done in between fifteen to eighty weeks. It uh, detect the neural tube defects. Test sensi uh, sensitivity is sixty five percent, while false positive rate is three to five percent. Now about neural tube defect. The incidence is the one to two in thousand uh, pregnancy. There is a failure of the neural plate and its covering to fuse. Properly by the 27 day after the conception, it occur in first trimester during increased risk of recurrence is seen in the families. Uh, neural tube defect screening by the maternal serum alpha fetoprotein levels. Fetal alpha fetoprotein is equal to 100 into amniotic fluid alpha fetoprotein, while maternal serum alpha fetoprotein is equal to 1 by 1000 amniotic fluid AFP. Various neural tube defects are the spina bifida. Meningo cell, meaning myelo meningo cells. About the Down syndrome, it is in trisomy 21, most frequently autosomal chromosomal disorder. It mostly occur in the elderly, primary, having ages more than 45. In include uh, there is various type inclusion of the additional chromosome, ma 47. Our number is 47 in 95 percent cases. Translocation defect 14 to 21 is a rare seen in young mother. Mosses is a one percent mixture of cell with the forty six and forty seven chromosome. Incidence is one in six hundred overall. Rise with the advancing age of the mother, reaching the peak of the one in twenty five by the age of forty five. Various symptom in Down syndrome are the growth of fever, mental retardation, a small nose, slanting of the eyes, uh, colon. Anomaly. Most common congenital heart defect is the uh, atrovenous septal defect in seen in the Down syndrome cases. There is a trisomy of twenty. <coughs> Another one investigation done routinely during pregnancy is ultrasonography. At early at uh, six to eight weeks, the first scan is done, which is called as viability scan. It uh, for the confirmation of pregnancy and to check, check the location of the implantation. It is intrauterine or ectopic rule for the rule out the ectopic pregnancy at 11 to 14 week. It the at this duration anti scan is done, which is uh, which measure the knuckle translucency, soft tissue marker, nasal and nasal bone thickness. Knuckle thickness is more than three millimeter in trisomy and 21 and uh, uh, trisomy 18 in all other disorders. At 18 to 20 weeks, anomaly scan is done to see for any structural defect in various organ system. At 30 week, fetal growth scan is done. Done around the 30 weeks. Indicate the babies, or uh, followed by the other scan, which are the fetal growth scan. Advantages of the USG is a, uh, it is a non-invasive, accurate, and no adverse effect, comparable result. These are the my references. Thank you.